I have basically hacked myself. We've simulated a hack. Welcome to the 24 hour rebuilding challenge. I have completely reset my account, my bank, my coin pouch, all of my currencies as though I'd just been hacked. And it's time to see how much money I can make in 24 hours starting from absolutely nothing. We've got 24 hours on the clock and I'm so excited to try to find out how far we're gonna make it. How much GP we're gonna end up with total starting from absolutely nothing. This could also be really cool if you're like a lapsed player coming back after a long time, all the stuff in your bank is worthless and it's like, okay, how are we gonna make some money? So the rules are pretty simple. Uh, I won't be using my tier 99 prayer because you know, this thing costs one and a half bill. Outside of the tier 99 prayer, if I want overloads, I've gotta buy stuff for overloads and make overloads. If I want access to anything, I'm gonna have to buy it. I don't have any necromancy. Runes, I don't have anything. And the one rule is that via combat, the only way I can kill stuff is with necromancy. I want to play entirely through the necromancy style, kind of like how in the last rebuild, all we did was use magic. This time it's necromancy. 24 hours. Let's see how far we can get in three, in two, in one. Let's go. First thing we do, definitely a flask run. That's like the go-to. We'll do flasks first. And then after we've got our flask run, we'll do, we'll sell the flasks to a rune shop run, Vizwax, and then we'll see how much money we have. Um, yikes. Okay, to be fair, I've got 650k and we're six minutes in. That's not so bad. I'm gonna claim a Wicked Hood. Let's go to the Blood Altar. Give me some Blood Runes. All right, so far, I'm not the most geared out, but that's okay. Let's make some Blood Runes. From there, we're gonna do a Rune Shop run. So we're gonna go to some stores. I just know 600k is not enough money to do a proper Rune Shop run. We should probably do a little better than that, I think, from a money standpoint. I'm sure they're crashing, but that's another 200k, decent. You know what? I'm gonna do Crystal Flasks as well. They're not very expensive, but uh, they might be up a little bit because of Necromancy and people making overloads. Try and check his bank after clicking on a giveaway link for the second time. I know, twice in one year. It's not been a good year. Did I win? Okay, uh, one fortunate, decent. Okay, so we're looking at about a mil. So I got two mil. Okay, cool. A blood reaper pouch is 150k? No. Wait, that's insane. I think we do rune crafting into blood reaver. Well, thank you, Oyster, for your service. All right, let's go to the Grand Exchange. Oh man, flasks do not sell, nothing sells. Oh, we are down bad. It's not sold for 600k? Nah, man, there's no shot for a fortune about it. I'm gonna put it in for 900. Um, okay, yeah, there we go. So I'm sitting on 2 million coins. Let's do a rune shop run. Wait, we're already 20 minutes in? We've already used up like 1% of our time. Rune shop run done. Let's sell them off and see how much money we're at. Okay, ready? Okay, decent. So now I've got three and a half million coins after 20 minutes. Let's look at the rune crafting route. Abyssal Titan. I can buy them. Large pouch, giant pouch, medium pouch. I do have enough points for a massive pouch. Nice, okay. Do these like work well? I don't think I've ever used one of these before. I think I'm gonna need a mobile Excalibur. For a mobile Excalibur, that's gonna cost about a million coins. Can I have a new small essence pouch? Okay, sweet, so we're good on pouches now. Perun pouch is Cosmic Astral Law. Okay, uh, let's go do our Vizwax rotation. Vizwax rotation is Fire Rune, 2000. Smoke Rune, okay. Whatever, let's try it. How many Nature Runes is it? No, 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 no. Why does it say 2,000 nature runes? It can't be. Wait, I just did that completely wrong. It's mind, fire, and then random. I'm the worst. Oh no, okay, hold. Oh no, I'm the worst merchant ever. Okay, so I bought them for 400K and I sold them for 300K. Could uh, anyone in the merchanting community uh, let me know if that's good or not? You know what? I'm going to buy a runecrafting cape as well for the guaranteed third rune because I think it's worth it. Chaos. Perfect. Okay. And chaos runes. I don't know how many. I'm assuming it's 2,000. 300 each. Okay. Who the Vizwax Bashid? And then, yeah, hopefully this is just like the amount of starting cash that we need. Fire chaos. That's actually nuts. What? Yeah, this is my first combo. I, I knew it went up every time, but I thought on your first combo, it was just as is. That is a hundred beautiful Vizwax. 1.7. Okay, so now I've got four and a half mil. Okay, that's actually really, really solid. Give me the rune. He does have the infinity set. Okay, buy the Enhanced Excalibur. Perfect. Augment you. Sweet. Very free. Okay, give me one Dexterous component and one Subtle component. Give me the Mobile Perk. Put that on the Excalibur. Need that if you're going to be runecrafting, obviously. Wait, this stuff's cheap. Wait, this is really good. All right, team. It's time to make some money. Okay, and we want Miasma runes you guys said are the best. Wait, wait. Power Burst? How many do I get from this? From one invent. Go. Whoa! 
okay. So Q W E R T A. Wait, I'm actually gonna be rich. It's so much easier to make GP than like any other time in RuneScape, I think. I also love that I'm skilling for it too. The other thing I'm gonna be able to do as well, once I've got full tier 90 all and a Jazz book, those are the minimum requirements to join a sevens AOD team. I actually think that could be a really, really solid moneymaker because prices are good right now for Angel of Death. Wait, I also need a Zuck Cape and a Kiln Cape. Oh no. I think in my head, I skipped some steps. So let's just do a quick tally here. I don't know what things sell for, but in 12 minutes of rune crafting, I've made nine mil. Um, I am very excited about this. The, the whole idea for this was necromancy should offer a really, really strong amount of accessibility into combat. Because last time I did a rebuild, one of the bigger criticisms was like, yeah, but you're a really experienced PVMer, so you can do Zuck with terrible gear and get a full book and then you have a bunch of money. But with this setup, you're actually getting good gear that can do good DPM. Or we could just runecraft. Let's see how much money I have now. 20 minutes later, uh, 33, okay. So we've made 15 mil in 20 minutes. So that's 45 mil an hour. But I also put in some costs, so it's actually less than that. It's probably 40 mil an hour. Yeah, that's really sick. Let's try to sell the bone runes and the biasa runes and the spiritual runes. Awesome. Oh, ah, someone bought 50 spirit runes. Also, I'm wondering how I'm filling my pouches so fast. Um, you'll see my keybinds. Q-W-E-R-T-A. I hit one to load my first preset. Q, W, E, R, T A. And then I just load the preset again. And when I load the preset again, I fill the massive pouch for my invent. Efficient rune crafting. I finally fixed our Azure log. Ooh. Oh no. Okay, sorry, this is an uh, this is a reference to something. So that's Alessandra's log. And this is my log with the exact same kill count. I actually feel so badly. So now it's time to find out if this is worth our time. Small sack. You know, I gotta go to the bank. I'm not wasting these sea turtles. These sea turtles are very important to me. Small sack the second, Necronium salvage, and the big one. Okay, easy casket. Another fortunate. Okay, nice. Yeah, that's kind of worth it. I don't know if it's fully worth it, but it's definitely kind of worth it. I'm honestly almost certain runecrafting was, was better than that. So I think the first thing I want to do, I think we should make some overloads. Every overload is 100,000 coins. Exchange those. Beautiful. Okay, so now that's 30 overloads I can make. And fortunately, with our 120 cape, we can actually batch the overloads. It saves us a good little bit of money. And then next stop is going to be the fight kiln. Okay, we are now sitting on 42 other overloads and 73 enhanced replens. We're not making the super adren pots because they're really expensive. So let's buy some more supplies for Zuck. I'm going to buy prayer renewals, super prayer renewals. I probably want to buy some Sardom and Bruise. I'll buy 100 regular Bruise. And we're going to combo the Bruise with the sea turtles that we bought earlier because sea turtles are one of the most efficient food types in the game. And then for familiars... I think I want to do a Hellhound, but no familiar for Fight Kiln. Okay, Death Warden Hood Buffer 2.2. That's tier 70 tank gear. Awesome. Okay. And I only need one of gloves or boots because I'm going to wear Obsidian of the other. Death Warden gloves. Sweet. Tier 70 top. I'm out of money. Oh boy. Okay. What? Why is the top 200k? I can't equip it. What? But we checked the achievement. It said that I made it. Greatest set of Death Dealer to tier 90. I've done that. Like I have Death Dealer. I've worn it. I'm going to the crafting bench. Oh, this is such an L. I'm I'm really confused by this. So I mean I made all my guides in tier 70. Alright, tell me I can equip this. Oh my god, I can. Okay. So that means I have tier 90 tank and tier 70 power, and that's it. We can work with that. We can work with that. So that is a set of Death Dealer that I can actually equip minus the gloves. Awesome. We just spent like a half an hour trying to figure out what gear I was allowed and what gear I wasn't allowed. Let's go buy an Asylum Surgeon Ring. After the Asylum Surgeon Ring, I've got nine mil left. We need to augment our gear, get some perks. Basic, basic perks. Okay, so apparently the reason why I only made four pieces is because tier 90 Death Dealer would have cost 15 plates. And I only needed four for tier 70, which was important because I was racing. Okay, that actually makes sense. Alrighty, half a million coins later, we've got an Asylum Surgeon Ring. And then I need to find Max and purchase a Max Cape. Wait, no, I can get one from the Max Cape. Hold on. I'll take a Max Cape. I hate that the price has gone up on the Max Cape. 
You kind of hate to see it, honestly. That's better, actually. It's kind of necromantic. Can I have another Dragonite amulet? Half a million coins spent. Actually, really good stats on that. That was really expensive, but precise is good. P6 genocidal on the first try. Let's go. And then we're going to go for E4. P6 equilibrium 4. Not great perks. Actually, really bad perks, but I think I should have done a little more runecrafting, by the way. Uh, I'm realizing here that we're, we're kind of ever so slightly not properly perked, but it's going to be fine. So in Vig 4 requires seven culinary components. It's five and four. Okay, got it. Thank you, Past Ryan. Past Ryan, you are a wealth of knowledge. One and three. <laughs> Beautiful. That should be on the wiki, actually. It really should be, because explosive components are, are hard to come by. All right, wish me luck. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. You hate to, what? Why? I don't know if I have enough money for more gizmos. Like we might have actually hit a dead end. I am going absolutely all in on this. I have no money left. It's time for some armor perks. I will say hour one was like a nine out of 10 efficiency. Hour two was like a 10 out of 10 efficiency. And hour three has been like a, z a negative a thousand out of 10 in terms of efficiency. Thank you. Crackling for relentless three, beautiful. I'm gonna get whatever perks I can with this amount of gizmo shells. But if we can't get any better perks than what we have, we're just gonna go with literally just C4R3 and that's it. Thank you. Biting to mobile, nice. Okay, so that is a beautiful toggle. So next step is to get myself some obsidian gloves that I can overcharge for damage reduction. Oh, it's actually only one. All right, let's make obsidian gloves. So now we'll get these going, cranked up, and then we're gonna hopefully be geared out enough to do hard mode, Zach. Let's go into the fight kiln. Three hours and 26 minutes in. Let's get our kiln cape. <laughs> Give me the Calmore. Beautiful. Okay, so now it's hard mode Zuck time. We don't have to do hard mode, but hard mode would be better. The reason why hard mode would be better is because if I can manage to do hard mode without dying, we also get a really, we get our cape and a chance to make a bunch of money. Are we really about to hard mode Zuck with this setup? I have 14,000 coins left to my name. I feel like we kind of have to. I can't afford Vizwax to extend Aegisauria. I'm going to go to Tyronwyn, reclaim my Quiver 2 for prayer bonus. We're going to do another flask run just to give me a little bit of extra GP to play around with. All right, let's go. Can he do hard mode Zuck? in a random assortment of tier 70 power gear because it wouldn't let him make the tank gear. Grab my Hellhound, do a toggle donation in the Fight Cauldron. Last purchase, a Weapon Poison Flask. And I have a total of 12,000 coins left. All right, let's go. It's time for a hard mode, Zuck. Good luck, me. It's okay, the challenge was fine. Eat. Wait, I forgot it's not a no food. <laughs> I completely forgot that I have bruise. That should help a little bit, probably. Do you guys think I can tank a giant hit with this setup? I think I should have enough damage reduction. I'm gonna try it really quick. Oh my God, this setup is so sick. A 5K? Oh yeah. This may not even just be a hard mode Zuck. This might be a full no food hard mode Zuck. Wait, that double hit. That instantly killed it twice. Wait, that's a bug, I think. Look, I instantly got two fires at once. All righty. And that is a no food hard mode Zuck. 35 minutes, four hours and 50 minutes ago, I had nothing. Also, that interaction where it double killed was so weird. Give me an Igneous Cal more. And now we finally have a boost setup Zuck Cave. Considering I had 12,000 GP left. And you know what's even better too? I didn't have to waste any GP on Sardom and Bruce. Think about how efficient that was. All right, a brand new ring of slang. We're gonna use that in a little bit. I need a light source we'll reclaim from Sears Village. And then we're gonna get a salve amulet. And I wanna reclaim like an armadal book of law probably until we have enough money for a jazz book. Go to the haunted mine? Yeah, let's go. Okay, so unfortunately, I cannot remember the route I need to take for this, but we're gonna figure it out. The children yearn for the mines. Checking that I've not done the hard tasks. Wait, for Mortania? Wait, yes, I have. Is there a sneak? First time I've ever done a task set. Oh, that's so clean. Wait, that's actually so clutch. Thank you. And then we go to Tarnslayer. Beautiful. That's a salve annuity. 100 volt. That was so much money. 
Wait, that was almost all of my money. I think the, the worst part of my setup is the gloves, for sure. The gloves are like really, really, really embarrassing. Five hours into the challenge, we're in a really good spot. I've got tier 90 necromancy weapons. I've got a random assortment of relatively sketchy armor. And although we weren't lucky enough to get a unique from hard mode Zuck, we did, of course, get our Zuck cape which is absolutely huge. For necromancy, that's pretty much the backbone of your damage output. So I'm feeling pretty confident that we can probably take on almost every boss in the game with this setup. Because necromancy just came out, you've got a ton of damage potential pretty much on arrival with the default gear you start off with. And because of that, I think it's time to start PVMing. The first boss I want to go to is Raziel. Because if I'm able to get lucky and get some drops, that could lead to some massive upgrades very quickly. I think I've got everything I need to do better here. Wait, the armor book is sick. Why is it so good? Bang! 114! Okay, we cooked. We absolutely cooked. We can do this. Yeah, this is gonna work. I didn't pick up my loot. Well, good thing it was 40k. Yeah, the fact that we're killing an endgame boss with half a bill drops five hours into this is absolutely insane. Unlucky. <laughs> okay, yeah, so 7k death cost. Wait, but I lost my Reaver! Okay, that's actually a 200k death cost. Uh, just volley, I guess? 152. All right, we are not breaking any records, but 600k of salvage! I think already this rebuild has, has shown me that necromancy does make it way, way easier to get into uh, into the higher tier stuff on a main account. Like, as, as long as you unlock the necromancy stuff one time, you always, are like, I know for sure now, no matter what happens to my bank at any point, if I lose it all on a challenge, if I get hacked, like, I know for a fact that I will be able to kill endgame bosses in a very short period of time. Wait, do I have greater bone shield on? No, I don't. What? Oh my god, past Ryan was just balling out. Okay, that's also a huge waste of GP. Oh, I'm dying. Oh no. You first. That win. Big salvage. Get in. Oh my god! Wait, let's go! That's a robot I'm coming in! Okay, that's such a sick drop. Now, funnily enough, I guarantee you my 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 hard iron man is without any spoilers does not have that piece. <laughs> I don't know what it sells for. Hopefully 200 would be would be good. Oh boy. Oh no. Let's try 190. Okay, sold for 199. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> and we now have 200 million coins 6 hours in. <sighs> I need to buy a Jasp book. This is a sunk cost of 120 mil, but this is a requirement for Angel of Death. It's one of the recs we have posted. You need at least a Jasp book. It's Jasp, Full, or Grimoire. 150 mil. Please buy 163 mil. Please. 145? Wait, that is less than the offer that I had. No complaints. That is a beautiful jazz book. <laughs> so then I pull out that jazz book and then I hide this one away. Cause if I don't do that, I have to drop it on the floor. The buy limit is 10, okay. 10 on the floor, perfect. Anyone wants 10 jazz book pages? That's cause my jazz book already had charge in it. Gone. I can't believe he made it to AOD this fast. That's ridiculous. And yeah, as soon as we get some splits, we'll be into better food. I just, I need some splits first, obviously. Wait, once I retune this, how much money do I have left? 150K, okay, great. All right, brand new Jasper on. We're using a Ripper Demon with scrolls. Let's go. I tag late. I'm throwing. It's fine. Wait, this is insane. Wait, this is so much easier on a main account? What? You're telling me this is 300 mil an hour? If it really is that good money, we are in an insane spot right now. Any droppers? In get us. That's a million coins <laughs> and a PR by 11 minutes. Okay, AOD is sick. Why was that an 11 minute PR? Because I only ever solo and duo this boss. Scythe for drops? Worked last time. Did not work this time. Also, in advance of the leeching allegations, I am not getting a leech pile. Not that there is a leech pile, but I know if I was getting the lowest damage pile, my comments would be stupid about it. I instantly signed. <laughs> my life transfer just one shot me. I actually do think it's pretty cool that without an EUF, I have a 100% hit chance. You know what's good about this though? Even if we don't get a drop this hour, I might have enough money in commons and stuff to get an amulet of souls. 
And that would be really nice, because I'm just taking, like, way more damage than I should be. Baba! Bro, AOD is scary. 146.2. A necromantic personal record. 144. What is going on with these times? <laughs> okay, at least I only have a 7k death cost, but that's a bad way to die. Give me blubbers and brews, because, yeah, we can we can afford it now. We actually have the funds for this. Let's go. Bombing mid! No, run! Mm. Mid bomb. I'm so sorry. Wait, just kidding. I'm sick. Holy crap, look at the sh movement. Actually saved the run. Holy moly. He's actually just nuts. Oh my god. Okay, we found a use for the acceleration power burst. You do a keep reminding myself. You're not on your hardcore. It's fine. You're not on your hardcore. Wait, look at the kill time. 142. I'm dying. Don't die, please. Oh my god, no way! Wait, I'm at, I have three chests! Also, chests are keeps. I have no idea how much that's worth. That's a keeps ice chest! Dude, I'm three out of four for gold praisal at a thousand kill count! That is an insane drop! I'm two drops off gold praisal. I'm gonna take both. I've got both. I've got both. I got both. What? My, my monitor just turned off. Oh my god, it's the cat! Pippin, oh my god. No, I'm still alive, I'm still alive. Okay, I might have to TP. No, no, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. And we got, oh my god. No, I'm kidding, we didn't get anything. I got stone spirits. Okay, Pippin. Bro. He just knocked the camera over. Pippin. I need to very quickly try to sell the intricate ice chest I got. Apparently it's like a hundred mil. It's under a hundred mil. Okay, 75. Okay, you know what? I actually can't be mad about that. That's actually the perfect amount of money to buy an Amulet of Souls. No, better. Much better than an Amulet of Souls. Let's get rid of our Barrows gloves. 65 mil, get in. First piece of tier 95 purchased. Oh, one minute 19. 190, okay. This team is above my pay grade. I invited Ra, and then Mika invited Beta Fox, and now all of a sudden, we're gonna break the world record. Wait, this is a pace right here. 139, okay. All right, next, come here. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Guarantee a drop. The bird stare has been planted. She's fallen right into my trap. Okay, that didn't work. We just need some drops. We've been very unlucky. It's a 1 in 36 for someone on team to get a drop. And so far, we are way over that in kills. Are we missing a gamer? We're definitely missing a gamer. Maybe we're not down a gamer. Maybe he TXJ couldn't see the boss over his cursor. <laughs> Sitting it's the size of half his screen. <laughs> didn't realize the boss had spawned. You did not put large cursor buff in the chat. Should I do it too? You know what? I'll do it too for next kill. Yes! No! It's the Iron Man! A super quick note here is that when you go to Angel of Death on a team with main accounts and Iron Man, generally what happens is the main accounts will split any drops received between themselves. But if an Iron Man gets a drop, they of course can't split it, so they get to keep it. For example, if you had a team with one Iron Man account and six main accounts, if any of the mains get a drop, they get to split it six ways instead of seven ways, so they keep it amongst themselves. But at the same time, if an Iron Man gets a drop, they get to keep it. And in this instance, the only Iron Man on the team got a drop. Pretty unlucky, but hey, I'm happy for Sven. Bro, how do you PV? This is unironically what you use? Bro, my cursor is bigger than the boss model. I hit it perfectly! Okay, what about this? Wait, what the hell? Wait, my clicks have never been better. It's working. This might actually be a buff. I'm actually shocked at how totally okay this is. Like, it looks absolutely obscene, but it, it's it's genuinely no worse. Like, like I, I really didn't want to like this. Look at how accurate that was! That was the best surge of my life. I can't believe it. Uh, 
Bye guys. <laughs> I'm gonna do the KBD event and look for a gamer. Did I win? A Ruby Chalice. Okay, I feel like I didn't win. 150k, I'll put you in the loot tab, I guess. We've done three straight hours without a single split. So we're hoping that this is the hour. All right, this is gonna be a drop hour, I can tell. Because I was hoping to have more than one piece of tier 95 gear by this point. Also, Zathros on the team is uh, is my editor. And he's learned an AOD. And his f first kill is a... Wait, I got a North Pile? Wait, we... I cooked that kill. It's this stupid bird is not doing a good job. She ain't dropping nothing. Also me. I did the least damage that kill. So also me. And the bird. Pippin? Oh, he's not in the room anymore. After he turned off my capture card. Yeah, I, I sent him to the ranch dimension. Stone Spirits Pog. That is my 1600th AOD kill as well. Nice. Very cool. We're gonna have to do it again. TXT on a codex! Yes, dude! That's big. I'm so happy. I thought I got baited by the treasure hunter key, but that is gonna be a nice little six-way appraisal codex split. But we might not be done yet. We got 23 minutes left. Let's get another one. Come on. That's awesome. I'm so happy. We were really dry. <laughs> I mean, I say really dry, but this is a boss where it's a 1 in 36 and you do like 20 kills an hour. So really dry just means like we did probably 75 kills. So it's like, yeah, you should have two. Any back to backers looking like no, that's all right. It's the large cursor. I'm telling you. I mean, you did get a large drop for the team. Wait, did Raw, Raw, you didn't. Raw bought my ice chest that I got that I sold last hour. And he just flipped it for 25 mil extra. I hate it here. I thought we were cool. I thought we were friends. And you're out here profiting off of a poor rebuilder. All right, so team, this is a six man kill. TXJ is gonna hammer and leave because his eyes are bugging him. Uh, TXJ was Umbra. Yeah, if you could grab. That's fair. He got his codex and now he's, uh... oh, that's actually legendary. He helped us get the phase point too. Okay, it looks like he's staying. <laughs> It looks like the call of battle was too much for him. He he just looks like he's in. He just, he looks like he's still here. He was like, this is gonna be last. And I was like, well, we can, we'll do a six man kill, don't worry. And he was like, well, I should probably hammer it. And now, and now he's here killing the boss. All right. <laughs> All right, let's see it. It's actually 205 mil for a six way codex. That's so sick. Incredible. We have some financing to do. Wait, someone's missing a split. Wait, who didn't get a split? Mika got one. Nathan got one. Ron Beta got one. Maybe everyone got one? Or is TXJ not counting himself? No, surely he is. I know he's kind of cooked, but he's not that cooked. He forgot himself. <laughs> Go to sleep. Go to bed. Let's collect our loot. We are sitting on 270 mil AOD comments. Kinda slap. Let's look at this preset and let's figure out what we can do to improve it. So the upgrades they made since we first got our first drop from TFN, we got our Jazz Book, which is a huge upgrade over the Arminal Book. And then we also got ourselves a pair of hand wraps as well. This is now what the TFN preset looks like. We've got enough money for better food as well. The slots that most need upgrading, other than my perks that are just garbage, I have a great solution. The gear we're wearing is worthless. So why would I spend 20 mil on a mobile perk when I could spend two mil on another top that has mobile? So I have one top for AOD and one top for TFN. That is a million times better. Yeah, why don't I just do that? Team, we are 12 hours into a rebuild. Our total wealth is, if you include the Jasper and stuff that I put money into and Meta Souls G offer, I think it's over half a billion coins. 12 hours in, starting from absolutely nothing. We've got a Zuck Cape, we've got a Salve Amulet. We've put a bunch of money into perks so that tomorrow when we wake up, we're gonna get set up with some sick perks. I think the goal to get the full TFN set in 24 hours, I think we could do it. 12 hours into the rebuild, we have a total wealth of just about 500 million coins. It is absolutely insane to think that we started with absolutely nothing. And now we have a very solid amount of money but we're not done yet. And I wanna really push this to the limit and see how much money we can get to in a 24 hour period. If we play our cards perfectly, I think we could even get ourselves a full set of tier 95 gear, but we'll have to see if we have the right plan and the right luck. In a challenge like this, I wanna stick to bosses that have consistent drops because I don't wanna risk it all for a Hail Mary, one drop every 20 hours kind of boss fight. I'd much rather do something where with average luck, I should be making a consistent amount of money every couple hours. And I think if I play my cards right, by the end of this thing, we could have an absolute ton. 
But with day one in the books, let's get some rest, wake up first thing tomorrow, and then we're gonna send it for the final 12 hours. Uh, welcome to day two of the rebuild. 12 hours in, I think our total value is probably like half a bill, which isn't bad, but I feel like today is the day that we really, really send this and get this to the next level. We've got some gear upgrades coming in. I saw when I logged in that my crown of the first necromancer actually slow bought overnight, which is really, really sick. So now I've got the two piece. I think what I'd like to do is I'd like to get to at least four pieces today and one of the weapons as well. I think it'd be really, really sick. We now have a beautiful crown, which means we have the two piece set effect, which is awesome. Uh, Condors do 14% extra damage. That's big. So yeah, we got some perks to do. And then once we've got our perks, it's going to be bossing time for I want to get like 11 hours of straight PBMing in. I want to get as much money as we possibly can today. Okay, yeah, 15 mil. Okay, that was really expensive, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, so that was three Oceanic components for a ton of money spent. So now we really have to try to get this perk. All right, wish me luck. We need Invigorating Formable for Angel of Death. Please. Please. Let's go, dude. Okay, we're good. We, we risked it all. We spent a bunch of money and we got what we needed. So now I have Biting 3, I have Impatient 4, Invig 4 Undead Slayer, Invig 4 Mobile. One of them is for Raziel, one of them is for Angel of Death. And then the last perk I need is Impatient from level 25. So let's go to God Wars 1 and lower our stats. We gotta drop a lot of invention levels for this perk, but that's okay. Okay, that's level 30. So now we spam. I should have to spam this 130 times, by the way. Which, by the way, is the exact reason why I think Invention is so silly in this current system. And I would absolutely love to do a redesign where you type out the perk that you want, like in an interface, and it just shows the best combo. That would be so cool. I don't think it'd be that hard to do either. Just go through like the 30 most popular perks that people use and just have a little search function. My hand is gonna fall off. In the time it's gonna take me to click this stupid thing, I could probably build the tool, please. Thank you. <laughs> Got it. Perks are done. Okay, you know what? Let's try it. I think I have enough money now. Which is crazy, because, like, just yesterday doing this boss, we had Barrow's gloves, and I couldn't afford scrolls or food. All right, let's go. He's kind of bodying me. To be fair, though, I'm kind of bodying him as well. This is, like, a completely different boss fight <laughs> from yesterday. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah, this is clean. Look at that kill time. Okay, so he's a 107. Okay, yeah. We can, we can now cruise... I'm still figuring out rotations, but uh, yeah, so far we're able to do a lot more damage than before, which is good. This is happening. I'm actually hitting like a bus right now. Whoo! Is that a sub one? It is not. It is a one minute flat. Did I win? Big salvage. Okay, the boss definitely was not vulnerable because I did no damage there. Scuff equals stuff, perhaps? Okay, perhaps not. That's fine. Next heal. So you can just get like a bajillion Jasper procs all at once. Oh my God, look at the crits. What was that? I signed, oops. I don't think I'm dry at this boss. I think I'm on drop rate at this boss, but I'm gonna say that I'm dry at this boss to build up my luck accumula. Huh? What was, was man's in the background? Guzzling super necromancy potions? Just like one, two, three, four, five, we're coming in. He got that Hulk strength. Man just blew me up. Oh, that's a steep death cost. I don't know if we can afford it. Pippin, do we have the funds? No? Maybe? Okay, that wasn't helpful at all. If someone's playing hard to get, just move on. They're clearly not interested. Well, I don't care if Raziel's interested or not. It's me who is interested in stealing all of his clothes and his cat and his light source. No, no, it's not like that. It's not like that. It's not like that. It's just like, it's just like, I, I just, okay, it, it's kind of like that. Alrighty, this is the last Raziel kill for now. Just did two full awesome hours, but unfortunately, no! I'm doing one more kill, that can't be the last kill. Scythe for drops. It did no damage, oh no. Not again! Oh my god, I had 100 life points. Rez, run! Okay. It's fine. Okay, I got absolutely nothing. Okay, cool. Well, that was awful. Let's go to Angel of Death. All right, team. Let's go to Angel of Death. Make some money. 15 hours have passed now almost. We are running out of time. Halababa! No! What? Okay, ignore that. Ignore that. Please don't drop the skill. Thank you. Okay, that was not good. I don't know what I'm doing. It's cool being one drop off title. 137, a new personal record. I can't wait till I have four piece TFN gear 
One or two splits gets me four piece. And then with four piece, life is just so much easier. Back to back trist pieces. I am having the worst time. Why did I do that at that moment? I waited for the singular game tick where I would take 11,000 damage. Yeah, whatever. I lived. Mika's got the big cursor on. I'll show you. You know what? Whatever it takes. I do this for the believers. Almost everyone on the team is on big cursor right now. I would get both of them. Blah, 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 blah. Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh, rip squid. Wait, did squid bomb herself and then die? One thirty-four. Okay, we're getting a little better. <laughs> what? A double pet after this dry streak? A double pet? That's crazy. That's not good. <laughs> I think this rainbow might be cursed. <laughs> yeah, I don't feel like I'm doing the best this hour, but it's okay. I'm trying a bunch of new rotations too. I'm definitely doing less damage than I do on a normal kill, but that's okay. It's because I'm learning. In the long term, it'll be worth it. I'm not going back to back. Nope. Did we win? Yes, we got a codex. Oh, thank goodness. Frickin' finally, after six hours. <laughs> okay, we need more though. We're, we're so behind. We need more. Uh, no! <laughs> I think I would have made it if I hadn't spam Surge, too. I definitely would have made it. No! Bye. <laughs> I'm struggling. Thank you for the kills. Sorry for throwing. That was my worst AOD hour ever. I have AOD brain rot, but not in the way that, like, it helps me get good kills. In the way that prevents me from getting good kills. Okay, let's collect somebody. 196, I will gleefully accept. All right, I think I should have enough money for a pant upgrade. This should buy for 100% of my money. Of course now they're going up in price. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do boots. Okay, they're 159 for boots. Okay, boots have bought. So I've got three piece tier 95. One more piece, and then we are actually at a way better spot. Wait, I should sell back my death dealer ones. Let's sell these guys back. See if I get anything for them. Um, 250k and 198k. Great. So one more appraisal codex split, and I will be able to afford four piece, which would be really, really sick. But yeah, 18 and a half hours in. We uh, definitely hit a snag at AOD. I've been there for uh, 10 hours. Now, there are two irons on team. If the irons get drops, they keep them. But that means if the mains get a drop, the mains get to actually split it five ways. So it's actually a bigger split. So this is kind of a, a high risk, high reward situation. One more drop gets me four piece set. And then I have a much easier time. 134? Wait, this gem is the secret. Is this how we break the world record of the world? TXJ said I'm 600k short. Bro, imagine being short. I'm out of body runes. I don't need body runes, I need damage. We're doing a gem. Body runes? What is a body rune? That is my 1700th AOD kill. A gem, it's a thing on the top left of the screen that's counting everybody's damage. <laughs> also known as the single greatest source of aggressive toxicity in RuneScape. <laughs> it's awesome. I'm having way more fun in this gem than I thought I would though. This is the first time I think a gem has ever improved a kill, ever. <laughs> Except for that exact moment where I greeted to try and get my skulls off. I currently don't have conjures. I don't need conjures. You know what, conjures, they were distracting me from doing the maximum amount of damage. Pop, pop! I da, 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 da. Hello? Was that because of the jam? Did someone plant a bomb on the boys? I can't believe this. Wait, where's my loot pile? I can't find my loot. Oh, it's because I got a north pile. Wait, damn, dude. I cooked. Can I hit? I could catch Sven here. Okay, I need to be perfect. I messed up. <laughs> Instantly messed up. I regret to inform you, I can no longer catch Sven here. <laughs> All right, I finished fourth. I'll take it. Does that make me the fourth Necromancer? All right, this is the last kill of the hour. Come on, you stupid bird. Bestow a loot upon me. Oh my God, the iron got a core. Okay, well that doesn't help the boys. I guess we go back. I need another codex drop, so let's go again. I'm gonna buy body rings though. Make it. I really am the worst Necromancer. You forgot they made a poverty jellyfish. 
Are we really calling them poverty jellyfish? I'm currently using them. That's so mean. I'm making a good economical decision. It's not that like if I wanted the blue ones, I could buy the blue ones. I could afford as many blue ones as I wanted. It's just I decided that maybe I'm going to die. I decided that maybe it would be nice to expand my horizons and try something a little bit more authentic. You know, it's like that's what the locals eat. Also, they are called expensive spices. They're not cheap spices. They're expensive. Green tastes better. All right. You should do a Raksha cosplay at TwitchCon. What? Surely I don't want to do a cool boss. Plus, if I was next, I wouldn't have to buy any materials. I just have to cut up the body pill. I mean, um, what I meant was if I were next, um, the cosplay in question. Tell me this isn't the real one. What? What's the plan after AOD? Ah! What? Mika just told me to sit. Bye, Mika. Man, I sure miss when we had seven people in, a, in the group. Man, I just wish there was a seventh person in the team. But is the drop going to be fine? Oh my god, Mika. She got a fifth chest in 1,100 kills. Now, the bird has not made anything helpful for me. I just... Oh my god. <laughs> um, okay, so... It's still dead. Everything's fine. Nobody noticed. I think they should have injuries if you surge into a wall. It would help with my immersion. Like, imagine if you, like, surge too aggressively and you flew straight into a wall if it hit you, like, a 5k. And then you could reduce it with headgear. All right, I'm feeling good about this one. 21 hours and 43 minutes in. I am lying to myself. Again, we do not give up hope. How are we still here? This is... This boss is supposed to be, like, 300 mil an hour. This is the money hour. This is the last full hour we have in this 24 hour challenge. Now nah, we're good, we got this. Now I'm not giving up, there is no giving up. This is our hour, our power hour. Starting next kill, obviously. Wait, I have a bomb. I didn't even notice. I was just trying to bounce my skulls. Sign for extra damage for the team. Worth it every time. At least 12 hours of AOD. I've had a total of two splits. It's been crazy bad. Especially today. Today we have done nine straight hours with one codex split. One singular kill remains. I love that I picked a boss where it's like, it's impossible to go dry here. And we have done like easily, easily 250 kills. It's a one in 36 and we've had two codices. Oh, uh, whatever. The final kill. Let's go. There are not enough hours left to do another hour in our 24 hour challenge. You dislike to observe it. I can't believe we did so I'm honestly happy that we're leaving that boss. I just can't believe we went that dry. I'm just gonna math it. We're doing 23 kills an hour. We did at least 15 hours of AOD, at least. So we did 345 AOD kills. Based on the drop rates, that should have been nine and a half codex splits, which is about 1.6 billion coins. And instead we got two. All right, R and Jesus messed up our uh, messed up our splits here. But we're not done yet, team. Not even close. We got an hour left on the clock. I can still save this. You guys have seen people get double drops from this place. I can fix this and I'm gonna fix this. It is time for the most powerful power hour ever seen. We're going to Raziel and I'm taking him for all he's worth. Every single set, I'm gonna take his cat. I'm gonna take his clothes. And I'm absolutely gonna take his weapon. See, idiot? One minute on the dot, come on. Nobody does it like he does. Wait, another nasty preface. You guys know what that means, team. That means guaranteed drop. Next kill. That's a sub one minute kill. What? His death animation is deceptively long. We got this. All right, here we go team. I'm gonna turn chat on and everything. The final kill of our 24 hours. All right, here we go. The final seven seconds on the clock. We close out P4 and it's done. And that's it. 24 hours and 20 seconds in and we close it out. I will say, first off, I have some calculations to do. 
The first calc I need to do is I'm gonna grab some items and throw them in my invent for a price check. <laughs> Uh, and whatever our total is, we have to add about 200 mil, by the way, for the Amulet of Souls Jazz book. Obviously, that's part of our uh, part of our net worth. Invent and equipped combined, 58 mil plus 389, plus the Amulet of Souls, which was 86 mil somehow, and the Jazz book, which was 145, means in total, in 24 hours strength, nothing, we came out with 678 million coins. Oh, plus 70 for my coin pouch, of course. So that means in total, with my coin pouch as well, we made a total of 675 million coins starting from nothing in 24 hours, which sounds not terrible, actually. I mean, it's an average of 29 mil an hour. That's actually not horrible, all things considered. The fact that within six hours of gameplay, I had gear that would let me kill every boss in the game. And I think that's insane. By hour eight, we were doing really, really fast seven man AOD. Um, and I had every single requirement that my Discord, my community requires. And I think that's really cool. So overall, I think considering how unlucky we were drop rate wise, to average 30 mil an hour, except for one unfortunate thing. Had I quite simply continued to runecraft for the entire challenge, the thing that we did for the first hour, I would have made over a billion coins and I would have made 50% more money if I had just done necromancy runecrafting the whole time. That would have netted me an extra 350 million coins, but I had a lot more fun. After 24 hours of absolute gaming, we managed to make ourselves just under 700 million coins. Considering a bond is around 75 or 80 mil, that's ridiculously good money. And considering the luck factor as well, I think we could have done so much better. But just like in real life, when you play RuneScape, you are subject to some peaks and some valleys. And sometimes you're gonna be lucky and you're gonna get a million drops, and other times you're just not gonna have it in you. The fact that we made the amount that we did, all things considered, is absolutely astounding. And compared to every other rebuild I've ever done, Necromancy makes it a completely different ball game. In previous rebuilds, even 30 or 40 hours in, I wouldn't be comfortable or have the gear required to be able to do something like Angel of Death. I was able to keep up with those teams basically on arrival. So in my experience, PVM has never been more accessible and I am so incredibly happy about it. If you enjoyed the video, feel free to leave a like and let me know in the comments down below. Outside of that, feel free to subscribe for more.